Any society should judge itself by the lowest, the way they treat the lowest members, all right? Do you know what I mean? And they treat them really bad in London, you know what I mean? They treat them really, really, really bad, you know? the criminal justice bill that seems not many people have actually heard about because it's um, it's been squashed by the media I've basically come here today to build an ideal home for uh, all these people who are homeless and show them how it can be done. It works on the principle of 21 poles that are all exactly the same length, They're approximately six feet long or as tall as I am. So it'll fit on, on a bike trailer, push bike trailer, or it'll fit on the roof rack of a car. It's really, really simple and it'll house four people, you know. There's loads and loads of different ways of life going on and it's just a statement to the outside world that being homeless isn't a crime. It's actually a space where people make the most of what they've got. You know, people are so angry. They, you know, they, young people, who want to start families. They can't, they have to live with their parents in a council flat. I mean, it's terrible. And the government just lets the whole situation fester. The way, the way homeless people are, but they're very different groups of people, the homeless, the homeless. Um, shelter estimate up to 2 million homeless, which in, in, includes a lot of the hidden homeless. Um, people who are staying with friends, people who are using empty properties, people who are travelling on the road. Um, there's a variety of groups of people. There's a lot of people in bed and breakfast accommodation. Um, the hidden homeless really is the problem. It's, it's, it's what we've got to bring, bring out and bring out into the open. Recent policy statements from the Home Office um, regarding certain groups of homeless people and the waiting lists for housing, for example, show that they're not taking much notice of the, the groups involved, of what they're saying. It seems they don't, they don't want to listen to the issues, they just want their own um, political ideology to override everything else. Um, but of course there's the Criminal Justice Bill as well, which um, 
seeks to address some aspects of homelessness in terms of the travellers and squatters, um, who number probably around 100,000 people in this country, um, which is a lot of people. Um, so the criminal justice bill certainly will affect those people drastically. <laughs> coverage on, on the uh, national, uh, no, national we all, news. We went down to the demo the other day and then afterwards there was a total TV blackout on it. Didn't get one single mention. Which is like, show, sort of shows what it's all about really. It's well there like, was that poor bloke in Singapore who got some, some uh, lashes apparently. <laughs> I thought this country had gone about as right wing as you can get, but I've learned a lesson that I, should, that I thought I'd learned years ago that, you know, when you say, well, they can never do this or they can never do that, well, you can never say never because with, with this new bill that's coming out, it's going to turn an already dicta dictatorial country into a um, far worse situation. It's going to be like a police state. Well, at the moment, there's, there's three different ways to get rid of a squatter. The first, of all, first one is if a squatter squats somebody's home, the police can be called round to remove them immediately. The second one is to take them to court, and that can take about three weeks, it can take longer, and it's just a simple possession order. The squatters go to court, they put their case, the landlord puts his case, and normally the landlord will win. Sometimes the landlord doesn't, in about a quarter of cases, the landlord doesn't win because the, the people they're taking to court aren't squatters. They've been represented as squatters, but they're not. They're, um, they're legal tenants or they're legal licensees. But that's the second way. The third way they can get you out is by kicking your door down and re reclaiming the place when you've actually gone out. Now, the new law is saying that all this will still stand, but there's going to be a new special way of getting out of squatters, which will involve going to court without the squatters being allowed to be present. Now, what that means is those quarter of the people who at the moment don't get evicted won't be allowed to put their case in court and therefore you know, you'll have the situation where you've got tenants being thrown onto the streets and then possibly being arrested 24, you know, and put into prison just because they're homeless. It'll affect tenants and it'll affect licensees. It'll affect people who are on rent strike. It'll affect people who are in rent arrears. It'll affect people who've got tenancy agreements with their landlords verbally but they haven't got anything written down. Justice Bill, well, that, that's going to affect a, a great deal of that. I mean, I think the gypsies are the ones that are the ones, you know, the people that are moving around, they're the ones that are going to suffer most under that. I think it's going to be, I mean, all, all one sees in all these respects is just greater and greater pressure on less and less resources. It's very difficult to see what people do, except, except they'll start, you know, they'll squat more and they'll get evicted more and there'll just be more and more trouble. Unless there's more resources put into the whole system, there's not much, there's nowhere to go. The main problem is that young uh, single homeless people can't get into local authority or housing association property anymore. The uh, only route really for them is to get into the private rental sector. What they're up against there, of course, is that the uh, landlords are really prejudiced against uh, people on DSS. They, uh, they don't like dealing with the housing benefit system. The people that come into them don't have rent in advance payments. They don't have money to put up against uh, deposits. And uh, they need support, possibly, when they get there.
basically going to make partying illegal, it's going to make squatting illegal, it's going to make travelling illegal, it's going to make any form of free protest illegal. It's making uh, the, the right to silence in, in court or having been arrested illegal. So you're not allowed to not say anything. You've got to tell them who you are, where you're from, and basically, you know, we may as well just have numbers embossed on our foreheads. In fact, I think that's what they want. If all the people that were affected by the criminal justice bill actually got together, all the students, all the unions, all the squatters, all the travellers, all the ravers, you know, Joe Public, everybody on a broad section, then, you know, it would be so much people power that the government wouldn't be able to bring these things in. So let's just hope that people forget their minor differences that they've had over the years and cooperate together and get some really funky groovy things going. And it's time for cooperation and doing some, uh, you know, as many different things as possible. Responsible for homelessness. Why not? Tories, Tories are no good, no good bastards. You know what I mean? Really? You know what have they mean? done for, for people in housing? You ashamed of it or what? They, 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 what have the police done for people in housing? They've done nothing at all. I mean, I, I hate it's the Tories. You know what I mean? Like the Tories, like uh, like they're like uh, have caused a uh, you know a terrible situation. Yeah, they're 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 they're